Hey guys, this is Daniel with Pwn CNC and we're here to talk about my laser and an upgrade to the air extraction system. Um, we're gonna run a couple of tests at first and yeah, let's get, let's get into it. Okay, uh, don't mind the mess. I'm cleaning out a uh, Cub Scout trailer for, the, uh, for my boys. Uh, I'm getting that all ready for camping this uh, here in a couple weeks. So, the air extraction. We have two options. We've got the stock, and then what I've done is upgraded to the AC Infinity um, inline fan. That's the six inch version. Um, and just like my plan um, video earlier, I did actually follow through on it. So the air extraction comes right out the back of the laser, goes up a six, the stock six inch pipe over to an AC Infinity uh, six inch flex hose. I chose that one because it's got the extra plastic coating around the, the tin aluminum, um, uh, whatever the material is, it very, very, it tears apart very easily, right? So I've got it running straight up. I plan to put a, enclose that so that it's nice and, and protected against, you know, random pieces of wood or something like that. I might damage into it, but it's running right up the, right in between my two bay garage doors, right? Right up the middle. Um, I've got it hooked up on the other side of all my junk <laughs> up here in the ceiling. Um, I pulled all that down so I get my son up there and start tying things up so that I can get that line all the way over here to where my extractor uh, for my dust collector is sitting up there in the corner, right? So I've got the AC Infinity right, mounted right onto the wall there. And from there, I drop down into a um, four inch hose, so going from six down to a four. And then from there, I drop the four inch all the way down on the back side of my uh, cyclone there, down through, I cut a hole in the uh, shelf for the extractor so I can run that tube right down the floor, down to the floor. And it looks like about six inches above the floor so I can get my table saw in there still, right? running over underneath my uh, my roller bench or my tool bench there up and into a window insert a nice place of wooden insert um, with a simple dryer vent uh, open close sort of thing so it closes itself off whenever there's no air running through it but whenever the extractor is on um, there's enough force to push that little tin door open so that the air can go right out the window um, and that's also where I've dropped my, um, my air compressor auto drain. Um, we'll talk about that one in the next video. But um, that takes care of everything. So I want to do a couple of things in this video. Obviously, that particular extraction, that entire setup, is very customized for my environment. You may have your laser right up against the window and literally could just run it right out. So... The real reason for this video is not to show you what I've done, but to let's talk about the reason why the upgrade, right? So there's two reasons. Um, first, I'm going to show you um, the video. So I've, I've created a little mini video, right, with where I've burned my logo into a piece of MDF, which creates a lot of smoke. And that filled the chamber, the laser chamber, up with smoke. And then... I did it twice, one with the stock extractor hooked up and another one with the AC Infinity hooked up. Um, I flip, once the chamber was filled with smoke, I flipped the switch and we're timing it to see how long it takes the, each extractor to pull out all of the smoke. Um, and you'd be surprised, surprised by the results. So let's, uh, let's flip over to that video. So hopefully you found that interesting. I've also got a second video. So that's the reason why I switched it, is that, that noise level, right? I mean, you notice in the video, um, whenever I flipped on the uh, stock extractor, it got pretty loud. Whenever I flipped on the AC Infinity, it got really quiet, um, or it didn't get as loud. 
at least from my perspective anyways. And it actually extracted all the smoke out of the chamber pretty much the same at the same rate. I mean, there's only a couple seconds difference between them. So I can leave this door closed a couple, uh, you know, a couple extra seconds to let all the smoke get out of there. But um, so the second video that I, the, the mini video I put together relates to the, um, some of the specs. I've actually done some tests. These are very rudimentary. I'm, I'm an engineer, but I'm a computer engineer, not a mechanical engineer. And so I can't really, <laughs> nor a scientist. So um, this is a couple of very basic tests that I ran. I ran it for, uh, used my phone to uh, capture the decibel levels of each machine, of, of each extractor, as well as the um, ran, used an animator to run a um, um, couple uh, CFM tests, right? <laughs> Some speed tests. So uh, let's flip over to that and we'll, we'll take a look there. All right, we're going to run a couple of experiments here. This is uh, got the AC Infinity um, model. What is this? Uh, AI-CL56, the six-inch model. I'm going to uh, turn it on um, and we're going to take a couple readings. So this is basically just a simple um, anometer, <laughs> anometer. I don't know. Um, I use this for my dust collection, uh, tracking my dro my dust drops and that sort of thing. So if you don't have one, definitely pick one up. These are very handy and they're pretty cheap. So I basically just put, put it right in front of the intake, um, the outtake, so it's gonna spit right up. And obviously there's not doing anything, assuming if I stop the blades, it should come out to zero. Stick it right on there. I'm going to turn it on going to go ahead and turn it on all the way. I'm going to hold it steady. Oop. And as it's going up all the way, it comes out to about 56 kilometers per hour at full speed. Of course, it'll turn itself off now. I did I did use my phone. Of course, I'm recording on my phone now, but I did use my phone to determine the how loud this is. Um, at high speed, it's about 75 decibels. So let's uh, compare that to the uh, stock blower and see what's going on. All right, this one gets kind of loud. I do have my animator here and my stock blower. Let me plug that in. And that should get it started. And it will get pretty loud, so we'll take readings and then I'll turn it off. So it turns out the stock blower came out about 60, um, 60 kilometers per hour, and that's not bad. That's pretty equal, pretty equal, um, just slightly uh, more powerful than the uh, AC Infinity. Um, I did measure it at, using my phone's um, audio receiver, and it rated at a 80 decibels. So it is a five decibels higher. Okay, so hopefully that was that was insightful for you. Um, you could probably go with like an eight inch hose or something a little larger. You might be able to get some more airflow for the same decibel level. Um, clearly the, the AC Infinity is really nice. Um, highly recommended. I can flip that on, barely hear it. I can still record. And I just love that one a lot better. Um, it's, yeah really happy with it. So if you're looking to uh, upgrade your air extraction on your laser, definitely look into that. Um, one quick tip is whenever you install your inline fan, 
Make sure your fan is towards the end of your hose. Obviously, I've got a really long extraction hose, I mean insanely long, but one quick tip is if there's a hole between your laser and the fan, if you're pulling the air, if there's a hole in the, in the line, the smoke won't escape, right? But I've got a double trick there. It works great on the six inch, but once I flip down to the four inch and then push, then at that point I'm pushing air down and out the window, which means if I get a hole anywhere along that, that four inch line, smoke will actually come into my room rather because it's pushing the air at that point. It switches from pulling it out of the laser to pushing it through the four inch. And if I get a hole in the four inch, I'll have smoke in my room. So put that inline fan as close to the extra, you know, out line as you can. Um, that's the best tip I got. So next video, I'm going to talk about uh, air input, right? So that was the air extraction. The air input is going to involve a, um, an air compressor, an air extraction kit, which hooks it up to the Rudia controller, which is super exciting. And I'm going to run uh, lines. I'm going to remove the pond pump and run the extractor right into that, which runs into the extraction kit um, and then right into the tip of the laser. Um, that will give me lots of control over the PSI um, that's actually put into the tip um, as well as um, consistency and that sort of thing. The air assist kit basically keeps the lifespan of my compressor working, but we'll go into all those details later. Remember, don't just own your CNC, dominate it.